Hi, Dennis Ray here. Do you need to use a VPN or rather a virtual private network when you're online? Well, when you're on a public network, it's important to use a VPN. When you're online at home doing online banking or shopping using VPN is also a good idea. A VPN hides your IP address by redirecting it through a remote server hosted by the VPN service. It disguises your data traffic online and protects it from external access by adding additional encryption. Your actual regional location can also be hidden. There are a number of free VPN services available for your PC, and this is one of the best. Free Proton VPN. This is how to get it and use it. So what exactly is a VPN? Well, this is a site that answers just that. And I'll put a link for this in the description below. And I won't go over the whole thing, but I did want to point out what the benefits are for using a VPN connection. Uh, first of all, it adds a, another layer of encryption to the data that you're using. And uh, I say another layer because your browser already encrypts data. And you can tell that because of the headlock icon that's on your address line on your browser. And then also it disguises your whereabouts. And since you're connected to a VPN server that's somewhere else other than your location, the data is sent from that server. And access to regional content, uh, because it's at another part of the world, uh, you have access to web contact that that is not accessible from your location since the server is in another part of the world. <clears throat> and also, secure data transfer, uh, since you are maybe working uh, remotely, you have secure data transfer and and your data is secure that way. And there's some other information that you can take a look at yourself there. And that will give you more information about VPNs. This is the Proton VPN website, and I'll put a link for this in the description below. You will need to create a free account and uh, download the VPN software and install it to your device. And here's some information about the free version. And it lists the uh, different devices that Proton VPN can be used on. And there is a paid version, the Proton VPN Plus version. And it tells you some of the features that it has versus the free version and some of the features that the free version has. And while we scroll down, there it tells you some of the features of the plus version. But I think uh, the free version is adequate enough for most people. And to the top, we go to this link and you can hit this to download the free version software. Here's a review of Proton VPN. I'll put a link in the description below. It talks about both the premium or plus versions and the free version. Down here it says the uh, Proton VPN free is the best free VPN available for 2023. It's safe to use, extremely fast, and you can use it without data limits, although it doesn't work with Netflix or torrenting. And then down below, it has a chart that shows the difference between the paid and the free version. And in here it does once again mention that it does not work with Netflix or torrenting. And then there's more information you can take a look at and kind of decide whether you want the free version or if you want to pay for the uh, premium version. You hear a lot about UFOs or OAPs in the news lately. 
When I was a kid, our neighbor swears she saw a flying saucer hovering over our house one night. I told my wife about that. She said, that explains a lot about me. <laughs> you know, I think she insulted me. Hmm. Well, whatever. Be sure to like and subscribe, okay? Thank you. This is Proton VPN's interface. Uh, first thing we can take a look at is its menu. Uh, about account profiles. Take a look at this. And in this, you can hit this to connect to the fastest server, or you can hit this to connect to any random server that's available for your free account. Or you can hit this to create a profile, uh, standard secure core P2P or Tor connection. And you can put your name in there and uh, select any of these. Select country, but then you would have to have a premium version. Or you can select one of them that's free and select a server. Then when you selected a country and then save. Okay, that's creating a profile. And then going down the menu further, there's settings. In this, uh, you can make your settings. If you're wondering what these settings mean, you can hit the little eye icon and I'll tell you what it's all about. Connection tab. and advanced. And that's about all we want to look at in the menu. Below the menu, there is Quick Connect, which will connect you to any of the three countries that are free in any of their servers. And then there are these icons that uh, are only for the premium versions. And then there's a list of the countries that are for the free version. And if you hit the down arrow, it will show the servers that are available for those countries that you can use under the free version. And if they're yellow, they may not be the best server to use right now. If they're green, that's the best one to connect to. And then you can hit this to connect to it. And if you're wondering what these icons are by the country there, you can just hit this I and I'll tell you what those are all about. Below the free countries are a list of all the countries that you can use under the plus version. Then there's a profile tab, which is the same thing as in the menu when we looked at profile. Fast, random, create a profile. Then on the right side, uh, you can make the map in this area bigger or smaller. Let's do a quick connect. And I'll go back over here and uh, I'll just hit this tab. And we are connected to the Netherlands right there. And uh, as soon as we connect it, it shows uh, session traffic and the speed down here. So we got a little information about what's going on with our connection down here which is nice. So now we can do our browsing. We're safe. We're happy. Everything's cool. And we're done. We want to disconnect. We go over here, disconnect. And we can go ahead and close this. But 
Proton VPN is really closed. We go down to our taskbar and there it is. So we right click on it and we can either connect again or hit the exit icon. And now it's really closed. And then too, it will leave little messages that we were connected, we disconnected it so we can close all that down and everything's done. That was Proton VPN, a great VPN service. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care. Bye.